Welcome to our video on the Civil Engineering Technology Program at Camosun College. Camosun resides on the traditional territories of the Wasanich and the Lokongan peoples. This is the makeup of our department. There are 10 permanent faculty and staff and their educational backgrounds range from technologist to PhD, with two people also currently working on their PhD. Within our department, we have three programs, Civil Engineering Technology Access, Civil Engineering Technology, and Civil Engineering Bridge to UBC. This video is about the Civil Engineering Technology program primarily. Camosun allows students to enter and exit based on their educational needs. You can join our technology program straight from high school or a few years after high school, or if you didn't take all the right admission requirements in high school and you wish to upgrade, you can take the access program prior to entering the technology program. When you graduate from the technology program, you can go out into the workforce and become a technologist or if your grades are high, you can return to Camosun and take the Engineering Bridge program, which then allows you to enter third year university at UBC to complete your civil engineering degree. And we are also working on commencing a bridge program, which will allow you to enter third year civil engineering at University of Victoria as well. When you graduate from university, you go on to become an engineer in training and ultimately a professional engineer. Civil engineering is all of those works that allow a city to function. So it includes roads, bridges, it includes the underground piping, water mains, sewer mains, storm drain systems, and it includes sewage treatment and water treatment, and also specialties of civil engineering include uh, coastal engineering, geotechnical engineering, mining engineering, railroad engineering, airport engineering. Um, in our program, of those, the only thing we teach is geotechnical engineering. The others are quite specialized. So this is a little walk down our hallway to our admin office. Hi Ruth, hi Alicia. And there hi. is Alicia and Ruth in our admin office. In first year of the program, you learn the basic fundamentals that apply to a lot of engineering, math, chemistry, statics, mechanics and materials. We also have courses in graphical communications, i.e. drafting, AutoCAD, we have surveying, we have a sustainability project in the first semester, and we have English and we have transportation engineering. So here are a few samples of what it's like to be in class. This student here is in our AutoCAD lab um, taking measurements from a toy which they will then draft on the computer. Yeah. And they take those oh. pieces oh, okay. and assemble yeah. them into a train track well. on the computer Good. screen. Great. Anything yeah. else you'd like to mention? Ah. Sure. And next okay. we have uh, math class. No. I'm going to be quiet so you can hear from the that teacher or from that you. unit circle interpretation of yeah, math so class. Go back to the first page here. Um, this one. This is just a regular Pythagoras we would have because that's a right triangle. We would have x squared plus y squared is equal to one squared, right? And so x is actually cos, cos of our angle. So x squared is cos squared uh, plus y squared, that would be sine squared, has to be equal to one squared. So it just comes directly from the unit circle there. So no mystery about why that thing is true, but it's not true without the squares. And then uh, the last thing is the graphs of the sine and cosine functions. We probably won't see them too much, but it is a good idea um, to remember that they look like these nice little wave, uh, waves that continue on. They're just copy and pastes 
of each other every two pi radians, which is 360 degrees. They, they, repeat, uh, they repeat themselves. Uh, we always draw them with radians on the horizontal axis, not degrees. But our FY, right? 163. This is statics class, where they learn about forces and moments, which would then later be applied to many branches of civil engineering, right. primarily yeah, structural okay. engineering. It's no different than everything else we've been doing, okay? So which one makes you happy? Cosine, sine, tan, choose your own adventure. Sine? Okay. Sine of theta is, what is it then? Let's pick it. Opposite of where I'm at. You'll notice as well this problem right? Polly is solving is, on, is in pounds. We make all our students work in metric Triangle and in period. Hey, how's it going? And there's <laughs> Daniel, our chemistry <laughs> teacher, on his way to a class <laughs> with and see the fire. Arrows? On the screen. Mm -hmm. well, this oh, is a survey right. lab. Yeah. Turn in the direction of the students the survey outdoors okay. 12 months of the year. Yeah, we've got, you're almost level, yep. so be very gentle. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so you can tear that down again? Mm -hmm. and that's, that's your first time, right? That was my first time. Okay, yeah, so then tear it all down and set up again and we'll do it one more time. Working on the this is a clip pyramid. from our so sustainability project class is where one of the skills they learn in, in, the, in the class is, is how to function so in a team. We have five levels of our pyramid, um, the top being being goals oriented, holding one another accountable, commit to a decision and plan of action, and engage in un unfiltered conflict and trusting one another. This is what we call our teamwork pyramid. We, last week we looked at being goals oriented, noting that your team has to have a specific goal and any action must be contributing to achieving the goal. Any action that is not contributing to achieving the goal has no place in your team. We also worked on trusting one another and that's going to be tough. It's going to take a little bit of time for that. But trusting one another means you're giving your teammates the benefit of the doubt, right? That you're there to support them. When a mistake is made, you rally together to rectify that mistake. So in second year, they take the skills learned in first year and they apply them to all kinds of projects. Uh, we have asset management where they learn to repair existing worn out infrastructure and assess which of that infrastructure needs repair and what should be prioritized. We have uh, classes in soil mechanics, construction materials, which is concrete and asphalt. We have fluid mechanics, which then gets applied to municipal and hydrology classes and our water and sewage treatment classes. Uh, and then they learn structural design in wood, steel, and concrete. They learn municipal design. And many of these courses, they also learning the industry standard software to go with how to, with these design methods and they have a course in construction management and they cap off the whole program with a capstone project where the students can choose any design they like and they design the detailed design of it in a team and present it at the end of April. This is a student in our soils lab taking measurements for a hydrometer test and next we go to the fluids lab which is a little bit noisy because um, of the pumps and things, but they're in there taking pressure measurements as water travels through a pipe in order to determine changes in pressure as the pipe constricts. Okay. And when you're getting your, um, your pressure head measurements at each point, you have the PO2 back in this area, and when you move it around, you should tighten it up too, otherwise you'll find it leaks. These load combinations, These are structural here designs are the load combinations that are necessary for our strength calculations. 
do our shears, our moments, our reactions. Uh, if we're going to do deflection calculations again, we need to have a separate set of load combinations for deflection. So deflection, again, is our serviceability limit states. So as it's a different limit state, it's not 1.25 dead plus 1.5 live, it's, it's basically one. We need to and do this is now municipal design software. Is add manhole labels to all of our existing manholes and our pipes. So we can close this toolbar and then on the annotate tab, pull down add labels, pipe network, add pipe network labels. One of the things we're doing in this class, in this particular class, is we're testing the chlorine in different samples around the campus. This was a bit of a noise classroom And what we're going to find out, do you think we're going to have chlorine, free chlorine in all these samples? They were yes. measuring Would you remember chlorine anybody how much residual in various water samples point taken two, around the campus. Do you feel five is cafe? Point two, milligrams per liter. Okay, so we could, somebody could look up on the Mac or the resources that we have, what we should be expecting for the pre and the total chlorine. And put that up here too, so we're now testing, did we, did we find that? And then, as I mentioned earlier, the capstone project, where students work in groups of three or four, they choose any design they like, it could be a road, it could be a bridge, it could be a building, could be a subdivision and they produce detailed design drawings of that design. When our students graduate, they often go and work for some level of government, municipalities most frequently, but they also work for provincial, federal levels of government or crown corporations. They often will go and work at a consulting company where their clients are either government or a private developer and sometimes they go and work for a construction company where they do things like construction management and estimating. So thank you for listening to our video. If you have any questions you can email the department chair Zoe Brew or you can call and ask questions um, if you look on the college website, contact information should be there. And you can uh, email questions, talk on the phone to have questions, video chat to ask questions, or if you wish, you can come to campus and arrange a time to have a tour of our facilities. So that is our video. Thank you for listening.